All right, <sighs> Mugen Infantry, anybody who uses Type Moon Unlimited, I'm about to do a little instructional video on how to make portraits for Type Moon Unlimited since it seems to be wicked hard for most people. First thing you want, want to need to do is you want to open up the Fighter Factory, you want to open up the character that you want to get a sprite from because you're going to need a sprite and you're going to need a portrait. First thing you do is you go through the file and you find the sprite that you want to use. I previously attempted to make a video but some kind of ad popped up and really messed my shit up. No, I did not want a Nintendo Wii, nor a free iPod, whatever the hell it wanted me to fucking have. Alright, next, you want to find your portrait. Now, usually the portrait's in the middle. I had already moved it, making the last video, which was a failure. First thing you want to do is you want to take the sprite and you want to drag it away so it's away from this little crosshair in the middle. Next thing you want to do is you want to use this right here and increase the zoom. Now, automatically, the sprite is double the size, which is the perfect size you need it to be. Hit Alt, hit Print Screen so you have it copied. Open up Photoshop and open up the template for Type Moon Unlimited, which comes with Type Moon Unlimited. Edit, paste, and it'll be a copy of the thing you just print screened. Use the magic wand tool, set the tolerance to 1, and set the contiguous to not be on. Select the background, delete it. Take. <laughs> Take a len right here. Yeah, yeah len right there. Yeah. Edit, cut, edit, paste do. Now you've already deleted her from that previous layer, so you don't need this layer anymore, so you can delete it. Now that we have len, take her and move her. No, wrong layer. Take len and move her to the position you want her to be in. And that looks about perfect. You can see it pretty well. So the sprite is done, so you can disable this layer, layer 2. Next thing is you're going to need the actual image you want to use. Now, I've already got an image right here for us, as an example. Now, any image will work. You don't need to render anything because the background has nothing moving behind the thing. But if you can, render it because it'll look a lot better and there'll be a lot less color loss. Now, we'll continue is here. Cut around her like that, cut like that. I'll show you a little trick so they'll look rendered when you go to do it. Hey, 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 delete that. Delete it. Delete it. Uh, step back, step back. This, take this right here, delete that, select deselect, alright, make a little layer underneath it, paint it black, no, black, and take this layer, paint it black, you're going to see some red, to get rid of that red, go to blending options, go to inner glow, take the blend mode, set it to normal, put the opacity to 100%, and put the color to black. Okay. Put the size down to three and increase the choke till you notice a difference. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Deselect this area. Select all. Edit. Copy merged. Now that you have that copied, you can bring it over here and you paste it. Now, take this layer and set down the fill so you know what you're looking at. That's a good picture of one right there. Move it, resize it, don't worry about anything like that. Just resize it until you get it how you want it. Put this back up, select layer 7, use the magic wand tool, set it back to 1, set the continuous back to 0. Select this, go back to this layer, delete it. Select, deselect. Now you're going to need to use the eraser tool. You want the size to be 77, you want the hardness to be all the way down to zero. Once you do that, take it, put it about halfway, and erase around the bottom edge, and erase around the side edge. Once it's erased, use your magic wand again, and select the blank area. Now go to Select, Inverse, Edit, Copy Merged, Edit, Paste. Now what you've got is you've got Len with the background already included all pre-zapped up for you. 
take this image again, edit copy merged, paste the image again, and now here's we're going to make the first screen portrait. Take her, put her fill down, so you can see what you're working with here. Her eyes are kind of big, so I'm going to transform scale. Hold shift as you do it, so the proportions will be even. Yeah, that looks fine. Apply, put her back, put the opacity back up. Now go to layer one, select the blank on layer one, go back to the first plate, the first screen layer, delete, and you're almost done. Select, deselect, now go to layer, merge visible, take your magic wand, select the blank, make sure contiguous is off, image, mode, index color. Now what we're going to do here is you want the dither to be diffusion and you want to mess around with the percentile so the sprite doesn't look choppy with colors. Right now it's slightly choppy so I'm going to put it down to 70 and the colors are looking damn perfect. Now with this method with rendering you don't need to worry about color loss at all because it doesn't really matter because it's going to blend in perfectly with the background. Hit OK. Now make sure this is all still selected go to image mode color table set the color to OOFF00 okay oh yeah when you're um, putting it in index color make sure you select local selective and you set the color amount to 255 so you have that extra color to fill in with the invisible color now once you've done all your coloring and stuff like that and you've made the invisible color take that same invisible color O O F F O O, and with the bucket tool, fill it in, and now you're done. Select, deselect, file, save as. We'll call it len. M E N. Now I already have a len, so we'll call it len two. Save it as a PCX, and then save. And then all you need to do is you go into len, reopener because you don't want that sprite to be actually moving it'll fuck up a lot of things. Go to her 9001 image, hit this little bad boy right here, and go find the portrait that you used, one, two, right here, open it up, make sure the x-axis and the y-axis is zero, and then you just sprites save. I'll save this, this is a good looking portrait. And now you're done. With the icons, unfortunately, I did a, did a big mistakey, and I sent you guys my only copy of my icon template, so I'm just going to have to use an icon example here. Select all, hit it, copy, file, new, OK. Well, since you guys have it and I don't, there's just a whole bunch of examples of the sizes you need, but I'm just going to do one real quick. Make it black. Merged, edit, paste. Okay, we don't want the select, we want the move tool. Edit, transform, scale. Make sure the scaling looks perfect. So you've got her dome piece all nice and put in there nice and proper. Yeah, yeah that looks fine. Apply. And all you need to do is you need to go to mode, index color, merge layers, yeah, whatever. Local selective, 255, boom, now you're done. Just save it as a PCX. And call it one, three. Okay. Go back into Fighter Factory. And replace the current icon with, len with you know, the one you just made. And boom, you're done. Sprites, save. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Um, I feel bad for people who don't have Photoshop, but I can't help anybody. Everybody, and enjoy Tight Moon Unlimited. Goodbye.